In this video, we'll go over all the WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. This week's bonus event is Shadowlands Dungeon Event. The Dark Moon Fair is in town this week, which is great for the rep buff for the new zones that are coming out. This week's weekly affixes are Tyrannical, Raging, Explosive, and Prideful. The Holiday Midsummer's Fire Festival is still going on this week. And into some more important news, Patch 9.1 is launching today. And with that is a lot of new content. Some of the main highlights of the new patch are the new raid next week, the new Mythic Plus season next week, the new zone of Corthia, the ability to use any ground mounts in the Maw, changes to Torghast, a new Mega Dungeon, and of course being able to fly a lot during next week. And in a last minute change, Blizzard implemented a new system which will add a socket to a Legendary if it's simply upgraded at any level, instead of just when you create a new one. Now, the only real cost for crafting any one of the new rank 5 or 6 legendaries, if you want to just make a brand new one instead of upgrading, is that you have to pay for the missives, otherwise they cost basically the same. Just a reminder, Season 1 Mythic Plus achievements and Ahead of the Curve and Castle Nathria are still available this week, as Season 2 won't start until next week with the launch of the new raid. And now into the weather port with Deb by the weather bot. How's the weather out there? Saving files on your desktop is like throwing your clothes on the floor at home. Good one, Devbot. Always nice to hear. And now for another segment of WoW Trivia. This one is a pretty easy question. What is the heirloom obtained from doing the archaeology bi-weekly from the Legion version of Dalaran? Is it the Dread Pirate Ring? Spear of Rethu? or the Musty Tome of the Lost. And the answer is the Spear of Rathu, one of the few polearm weapons available as an heirloom. And with that, I'll see you all next week.